This film gained international attention, and with it came the most comprehensive research effort ever undertaken. Under the supervision of North American Wildlife Research Center, investigators began feeding data into computers. After months of computerized research on behavioral patterns, migratory movement, and eyewitness descriptions, the computer began answering the many questions surrounding these mysterious creatures. By programming information from hundreds of sightings, the computer drew us a picture of Bigfoot. It corresponded with the Patterson film. Researchers have believed that in some remote wilderness where man has never been, these creatures are living in complete solitude. The computers have now pinpointed this area, and here at North American Wildlife Research, we have organized and financed an expedition to search this unexplored area in hopes of capturing a Sasquatch. The final destination of this expedition is north of the river the Indians call the Peketo, in a primitive part of northern British Columbia. We are taking the latest and most sophisticated equipment, tranquilizer guns, electronic gear, and sniper scopes. If we capture a Sasquatch, we will implant a small transmitter and release the creature so that it can be traced by radio and studied scientifically. Deep in the heart of the vast wilderness of the Pacific Northwest and Canada, a legend extends back into the spoken history of the earliest Indian tribes. This legend is about the mysterious giant creatures that inhabit these forests. The description of these creatures by those who have seen them gives one the uneasy feeling that somewhere roaming free and wild in these deep, dark valleys, is a living, breathing reminder of mankind's prehistoric past. This is the legend of the Sasquatch. <laughs> 